Welcome to the channel, everyone. So if you clicked on this video, you are either starting over or you're thinking about starting over. Behind me over my shoulder, you will see where I have started over at 50. Started over here a year ago. I get a lot of questions in the comments on this channel, specifically why, you know, I chose Belize, why I left the U.S., things in that nature. Um, I was living south of Atlanta in the U.S. when the pandemic hit. Uh, first, let me say, I have, I have started over from scratch so many times in my life. Each time is scary. I'm not going to tell you that it's not scary, but each time is so much more rewarding than the last. Um, Sometimes we don't know where we're going. Sometimes we don't know how we're getting there. Sometimes we don't know what's going to happen when we get there. A lot of times, me and my wife, we just fly by the seat of our pants. Uh, we're lucky enough to be able to do that. I know a lot of you can't because you have kids and you know other responsibilities. Uh, me and my wife happen to be able to do things like that. Uh, since I was younger, I, I have... Like I said, I, I have started over more times than I can actually count in my life. Um, this last time, <clears throat> like I said, I was living south of Atlanta, had a good job, worked six days a week, was making real good money for the first time in a long time. I was making real good money. And I get a lot of questions why I walked away from all that, why we, me and my wife, walked away from all that. Um, one of the main reasons is when the pandemic hit, I was in the automotive industry. So that was one of the necessary jobs. So, you know, I wasn't on lockdown or anything like that. I wasn't going to be on lockdown anyway. I wasn't going to take a shot. I wasn't going to do any of that. So uh, what happened during the pandemic opened my eyes up to a lot. I'd already seen it before, but it just opened me up more. You know, watching something like that go on and... From the hoarding of toilet paper to, you know, one of the things that was really made me open my eyes of what was going on in society is people lining up at gun stores. You can't eat a gun. A gun's not going to, you know, do anything for you. It may be able to protect you, but honestly, for how long? Because sooner or later, you're going to run out of ammunition. It's just watching people hoard ammunition and weapons. Uh... I mean, come on. Uh, I think society, in my opinion, is losing touch. But if you're one of those ones that's watching this video, like I said, you're either getting ready to start over or you're thinking about starting over. So let me, let me tell you what. Starting over when I moved to Georgia in 2018, by the time that the end of 2019 hit, had already bought a nice house, had a huge swimming pool, four acres, a beautiful house. But even the area that I moved to in Georgia, it started to change so rapidly that the housing prices went to the roof. So I was one of those that sold my house and got out. And of course, that afforded me and my wife to be able to move to Belize. And a lot of people get the misconception because we're in Belize that we're rich and we have tons of money. We don't. Everything that we had left, we, we actually took a risk and we sunk it here in Belize, our piece of property, the house that we had built, um, you know, everything from the solar to the cisterns to the animals here. And we're fully self-sufficient now. We have quail, we have turkeys, chickens, we're getting ready to add some sheep. So, you know, we have meat, we have eggs, and I also grow a garden on the side. But getting back to starting over, it is scary to want to start over, but I'm telling you, if you've never done it before, it's going to be one of the most exhilarating things you've ever done in your life, excuse me, and you can't let fear hold you back because fear, fear will cripple you. I have lost so many possessions in my life. I have spent money on so many things, possessions in my life, and I think that that's what we fear losing the most are those possessions because when the possessions are gone, 
all you really have is yourself and where you're going and the experiences that you have in life. You know, one thing that keeps resonating in my mind is the people that are close to me that have passed on within the last five to 10 years. You know, when I was at their bedsides having conversations with them, every single one of them, it was the same resounding message of life is short. Don't wait. Um, you know, don't put off your life for the job. Don't put off your life for the house. Don't put off your life for the car. I see so many people doing this. And at the end of the day, even here in Belize, I meet a lot of different people here in Belize. And even a lot of people that have come here say that they wish that they had done it sooner when they were younger. I'm just now getting ready to hit 50. So that is one of the biggest regrets is people wish that they would have done it sooner when they had more time, when they were a little bit younger, when they can actually enjoy some of the things that are going on outside as far as the outdoor activities. Uh, so listening to people that are getting ready to pass, and that seems to be their biggest message is if there's something that you want to do, go do it. There's nothing wrong with starting over. Uh, there's nothing wrong with leaving a toxic situ excuse me, a toxic situation that you're in and going doing something that you want to. What, do you, what are you afraid of? I'm telling you from my own personal experience, starting over is scary. But man, when you do it, the rewards are so beneficial. And even right now, you know, here as we're in Belize, we don't know if this is going to be our forever. We don't know if we're, this is actually where we're going to stay for forever. But right now, this is where we're living. This is where we're at. We reside. We live in Belize. That could change in a year. It could change in two years. It probably is going to. And when that time comes, we're going to have to start all over again. And I'm so thankful that I found a partner in my life that thinks just like me, and she's actually the fearless one. I'm the one that's more reserved, and you know, my the hamster and the brain starts going, and I'm always trying to think long run. She just will put on her boots and just she'll jump in the water and just get into it. So don't let fear hold you back. From going and doing something that you've always wanted to do because you never know where you're going to be. Like I said, I was just living in the States two and a half years ago. I never in my wildest dreams thought that I would be living in Belize. But even when I was living in Georgia, after I had moved there, I never in my wildest dreams thought within 18 months of living there that I would be a first time home buyer and have the career that most people would go run into because of the money and the house and the, the things. Uh, my grandfather was a really, really smart man. He says, uh, he used to always, he used to always tell me your possessions will end up keeping you prisoner. And you really got to think about that. The things that you possess, you become a slave to RVs, boats, See, I know because I've owned all those. I've owned a boat, man, maintenance and gas and what have you. Owned one of those big 40-foot pull-behind campers. Drove that all the way from Florida up to Montana and back. That was fun, but every time you get to a campsite, you're having to hook this up and hook that up and do this and do that. And it's, you know... A lot of times I was looking back at the people that had the tent and I just wanted to be that person again. I just wanted to be in the tent again. But, you know, once again, things. You see people in these big RVs and you just got to have one because, wow, you know, look at the Joneses. I was so happy to get rid of so much of the stuff that I accumulated over the years. And that was really one of the things that would hold me back at times was things. So if you're going to start over, if you're thinking about starting over, especially if you're around 50, you need to start getting rid of those things because those things are going to hold you back. Those things are going to keep you prisoner from actually being able to go live free. 
to be able to cut all those ties and just, man, go live. You know, in the States, working six hours a day, all these bills, I wasn't living. I had nice things, but that wasn't living. It was always when I started to accumulate things that I stopped living. You know, I got a friend from the States that I've known for a long time who's living in Honduras, and he's another one. Uh, he had really nice flashy things in the States, lived in Florida, but he had really nice things. And one day he just got tired. He said, you know what? I just can't do this anymore. And he up and left and he lives in Honduras. He just got married recently. And I talk to him all the time. He is so humble now, helping. He's a good man. He's a good husband. He got himself a beautiful woman. They're both happy together. But in the States, you know, he, he got to the point where he was miserable. So I know I can ramble on in some of these videos, but I really just felt like talking because I, like I said, I get so many of the different emails and the questions and a lot of it has to do with, I can tell how questions are being asked. A lot of it has to do with fear, man, screw fear. You know, uh, if you live your life in fear, you're never going to go anywhere. And I know it's easier saying it than doing it, but I've done it. I've done it almost my whole life. Um, I never went to college, don't have any degrees, never went to trade school, anything like that. My entire life has been from one adventure to the next. One of my favorite parts in the movie is from the movie Titanic when Jack is sitting at the table, you know, and all the rich people are, you know, kind of talking down to him, but making it seem as if they're not talking down to him. And, you know, his response was, you know, life is just precious. Hours before he was sitting at a card table, not knowing where his life is going to take him. And the next minute, like you said, he's sitting there with those fine people surrounded by all their money telling his stories and you could see by other people looking at him that they just wanted that kind of freedom i can tell you that living a life of exploring and adventuring is freedom but i'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it's not difficult at times of course it's difficult if it was easy and easy all the time everybody would be doing it taking care of the homestead here all the time isn't easy, you know, but that's where my life is right now. I don't know where I'm going to be in one year. I don't know where I'm going to be in five years. But I know that I'm not going to let fear control me and that I'm going to continue just to keep living my life, no matter where that takes me. And for me, I love living life like that, not knowing what the next day is going to hold or, you know, where your meal is going to come from or something. And I also notice that when you start to let all that stuff go and you become unafraid of moving on and of starting over, you'd be surprised what you can do when you're depending on just you. That's one big thing. When you, when you have to depend on yourself and yourself alone, you will learn so much about yourself, so much about yourself. You're so much stronger than you could possibly even imagine. You just haven't got there yet, but you will. Trust me, you will. You will find out just exactly how strong you are. Um, here I am walking around my backyard. Beautiful Central America, Belize, in the middle of nowhere. Where people tell me all the time, you're crazy. Aren't you afraid to live out in the middle of nowhere? No. I lived in cities, South Florida, growing up. That was fear. We didn't leave our doors unlocked and our windows open and what have you. You know, it's all these just misconceptions. So it's never too late to start over. 
if you're at that point or you're considering it, hopefully you got something out of this video. It's just something that's been weighing on me lately. It's never too late to start over. But if you wait too long to start over, you may never be able to. And I know that there's somebody out there that's watching this video right now that's in a situation that they don't want to be in anymore. They're just tired and you feel like you're cornered and you're trapped or you're just going to settle for the cards that life has dealt you in whatever situation that you're sitting in right now. You don't have to. You don't have to. And get out. Start over. You never know where life is going to take you. And you are stronger than you could ever possibly imagine. And you never know where your life's going to take you. You might be in the situation that you're in today. Two months from now, you might be sitting on an island in Spain. Just sitting there, scratching your head, as I often do sometimes. Man, how did I get here? Life is short, people. I'm telling you. I'm really starting to see that as I turn 50. Life is short. And I want to say that again. The resounding message that I get from everybody who's getting ready to pass is, don't wait. Do it now. I wish I would have done it earlier. Life is so short. It's gone in a blink of an eye. If there's something you want to do and you're afraid to go do it, that's exactly what you need to go do. If there's something that you've been dying to do and you're petrified to go do it, that's exactly what you need to go do. Because until you cross that bridge of fear, you'll be stuck exactly where you're at. <sighs> what a beautiful walk this morning. Let's see that scenery one more time. A little bit overcasty today, but still a beautiful day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Remember, it's never too late to start over. And don't wait too long or it'll never happen.